on shavers. Today's shave is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to shave with the first shave kit that I bought when I started shaving a little over two and a half years ago. Um, and it was the Gentleman John set. So first we'll talk about the watch of the shave instead of watch of the day, I guess. It's actually late at night. Oh, well, not late, but it's a little bit later at night. I uh, planned on shaving earlier, but I ended up mowing the lawn and doing some other things. So, um, so I figured it'd be a late shave. Um, today's watch. This is the Timex Todd Snyder edition. Um, they have a line of watches. I guess uh, collaborated with Todd. St Todd Snyder, I'm not sure who he is. I just bought the watch because I really liked it. And I like Timex, so. So that's the watch. Um, throw that on real quick. And like I said, the shave set is by Gentleman John. I like this watch, it actually has a nylon, nylon band. Um, the razor, here's what the, the razor looks like. It's nice etching on it. It says Gentleman John. Nice knurling, which I do like. It's a, it's a fairly light razor compared to the others that I have. Um, the blade we're going to use is going to be the Astro blade, which is the one that's in my uh, Rockwell 6S. Astro is what it actually came with. I believe it came with five or so blades. And then the brush, you can see it says, Gentleman John, it's just a nice little wood brush. And it's Badger. So that's the brush, it's soaking in water. Um, and then it came with a little mixing bowl to mix in and put the puck in. And as far as the soap, it's a sandalwood um, glycerin based. So you can see I've had it in there and you can take it out. And this one actually came with an Allen block, which is for um, when you get nicks and things is to keep it from bleeding. Uh, funny story is, I have no idea what happened to my Allen block. It has disappeared, so I haven't seen it in a while. So let's go ahead and put the, the 6S, take the blade out. This will be my third shave on this blade. take this one apart and this has got a it's got solid bars with the um, with the uh, they're not cutouts but the, the places in it you can see it then we'll take the the top put the blade on there then this one's not directional, so you, you can tell which way's up though by the cone. And then I like what I like to do is hold it just below the blade because even though you have a little bit to hold on to, they can still be a little sharp. So see how well it lined up. Actually lined up good. Didn't even have to adjust it. Dump the little bit of water out of the brush, water out of the cup, it's just a stainless steel cup. Throw the soap in there, and then start swirling. Swirling. And what you can do is take a another Another cup if you want to take the soap out. And this is sand, like I said, sandal, sandalwood scent. I love the smell of sandalwood, so. See, it's 
lathering up nice already. It's overflowing, I mean it's a tiny bowl. But what it came with, so I figured I'd use it. Wet my face a little bit. Start applying the shave cream. Some of it on there. Now, I, uh, you know, I was doing the two minute shave tip videos for beginners. I found out it's really hard to stay under two minutes. So I've changed it, the format a little bit to be just shave tips for beginners and they'll be as short as I can be. I don't want to leave too much information out. Was when I was trying to do the, the shave bowl video, I actually did it twice, but the first time it was probably six minutes. And I was having to splice a lot of stuff out. So I ended up redoing the video and decided to get rid of the two minutes. Also, I have a, I started an Atlas Shaving Instagram account, and it's actually taken off pretty good. I just have the few pictures from the shaves. I didn't want to fill up my regular Instagram. I still have the link to it, but I didn't want to fill it up with shave videos. Like I said, this razor, it's a pretty light razor. And if you ever wonder, the camera's right here, and a lot of times I tend to look right here because that's where I see me. A lot of times I'm seeing if it's in focus. I'm not, I'm not trying to ignore looking at the camera. Now, because this is such a light razor, it's hard not to press. But it still glides pretty decent. We're in season seven of The Office. Now it'll be off of Netflix at the end of the year. Is that soap still slick even there? Um, it didn't really, I don't think it really advertises being super slick and they do sell that soap separately so you can buy it separately in the alum block. Need to buy another one. And I remember the first time shaving with this, because you tend to press. It's just natural when you're shaving your whole life with pressing. And man, the first time I shaved, I sliced myself up. One of those deals, I think I bought the kit, cut myself up, then watched YouTube videos. A little neck right there, looks like it. Man, neck the pimple. Oh, and back to the office. We're in season seven. And 
And I think next season's when Steve Carell will be his final season in the office. And like I said, Netflix or NBC's pulling it from Netflix at the end of the year because they started their own streaming service. And obviously, it's a way to get people to switch, to use their service. And if you ever wonder why I'm not really loud when, I, when it's, I'm shaving at night, it's because the baby's sleeping. I do not want to wake her up. Little tiny Nick. Do a second pass. Sometimes it's easy to nick around your nose. Not bad though. Take some of the shaving cream, put it on there. And I think with Married with Children, I mean, I'm in season four. And a little water. And for us, since I'm in the southeast, we don't our winter really doesn't start till late November, December. So for example, today it was still I think around eighty degrees for the high. Because I'm in North Carolina. Near Charlotte. And I'm sure it's even warmer when you go further south. Not a huge fan of this razor. It's pretty aggressive. Like I said, because it's so light. It's hard to not give any force. Trim like an old man when I talk like this. So for the beginner and that beginner set series, I recommend a different razor. I recommend a marker. I think it's the 34C. I don't have one, but I've seen a lot of a lot of YouTube reviews on it. And it's relatively cheap. I think I paid around fifty dollars for this whole set, which is not bad. Not doing this 6S handle. We'll get that later.
I don't use this razor too often. Especially with the Astro Blade. I think it did better when I was using the Derby Extra. Because I was less, less likely to cut my face. And then for today, for aftershave, I forgot to show it earlier. Um, and I didn't even realize you could use this for aftershave until seeing it in uh, on a Reddit page, but it's gonna be uh, the Witch Hazel Thayer's Witch Hazel, and this one's the Rose Petal. I really wanted the cucumber, but they were out of the cucumber on Amazon. And really this you can put on where you shade and you can also put it everywhere. Which I'm not gonna do right now. A lot of times I may put it on my face when I'm going to bed. Little Nick wants to bleed a little bit, but it'll stop. It's not gonna leave a mark, which is good. All right, hope you enjoyed the shave with a kit that I haven't used in a while. And hope everyone has a great weekend. See you later.